Hey there, cats and kittens. My name is Alonda Carter, and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create videos where I critique multi-level marketing or MLM, and I'm also dipping my toes into true crime. And if you really kind of think about it, isn't multi-level marketing criminal? So if you are into either of those kind of topics, then you might want to consider doing that subscribe thing, hitting the notification bell, giving the video a thumbs up, giving it a thumbs down. I mean, whatever floats your boat, do all of that stuff. So today, we are going to take a look at the Beachbody Income Disclosure Statement. A new one is out, an updated one. I have been referencing the one from 2017 to 2018, but now we get to look at the one from 2018 to 2019, and we're even going to do a comparison between the two because I think we kind of, you know, we need to dance around all that kind of stuff. Also, what I'm going to share with you is there's something that, Beach body coaches do. I think a lot of people in MLMs do is they like try to share like how it has changed their life, you know, because they're able to buy a cup of coffee because of the opportunity. They're able to buy dinner for their family because of the opportunity. They're able to pay their light bill because of the opportunity, all of that stuff. So we are going to look at what's referred to as progression income progression because the thing is when you are in MLM it is unlikely that you ever even look at the income disclosure statement even though it can be readily available to you I will say personally when I was with team Beachbody because if you didn't know I am a former Beachbody coach I never looked at that and had I seen it I would have seen myself as defying the odds and making it to the top because that's just what happens because you get so mentally manipulated. So what we're going to do is look at this income progression and how people, you know, put that out because I really feel that's kind of like squirrel, you know, don't look at the income disclosure statement because you know that those are facts. That's reality. Just look at all these people's progression because that could be you. You could start out where you can just afford to get dinner for your family. And before you know it, you're making a car payment and then you're able to pay your mortgage and then you can pay off your student loans. I mean, they put it all like that, like everyone can do this. And that is just not the case. As you will see when I share the numbers with you. When you are building your beach body empire, you want to build a strong tower. You want a strong team. You want it to be like the tower on the left, you know, unlike the tower on the right that is, you know, exploding. There's holes in it. The reality is more like that on the right because there's always going to be people that leave and you've got to find a replacement and you've got to rebuild that tower and keep shoving those little blocks in over and over and over and over again. But there's so much freedom, right? Or is there? Real life paycheck progression, our financial journey with Beachbody before Beachbody lived paycheck to paycheck, plus worked 40 plus hours away from home, plus in debt. I want more time with my family, more freedom in our finances, and more fulfillment through serving others. Beachbody is that vehicle for me. Month one, Shakeology plus my next fitness program. Month four, Shakeology plus rent plus my car payment. Month nine, Shakeology plus rent plus both car payments plus a thousand dollars debt paid off. Month 12, Shakeology plus rent plus all bills plus two thousand dollars of debt paid off. Month 19, Shakeology plus all bills plus ten thousand dollars of debt paid off plus new furniture with cash. Wow, you know. I just have to um, call bologna sandwich. I just really do, you know. We get a good view of this too could be you. You could take this financial journey and have this amazing experience. You too could pay off everything just like me. Apparently, now she's working, I guess, less than 40 hours a week. And that's what I'm calling bologna sandwich on because you work your tail off. Again, I'm going to go back to the Jenga tower. 
you have to keep on rebuilding that all the time. So just saying, I'm just not thinking it's all that. Income progression. And as you can see, beginning back in February 2015, it was $177 that month. But in January of 2019, over $25,000. Okay, yes, you know, it's going up, but I just have to ask, what are you spending versus what you are earning? How much are you spending to be part of this network? Do you have these other two little, you know, accounts where you're managing, say, your husband and your sister's account, and you're sticking people up underneath them, and you're having to, you know, get volume for them, and they have to be active, so they have to have at least 50 PV, plus you're going to pay your monthly coaching fee, their monthly coaching fees, plus if you're going to go on a retreat, you've got to fly yourself out there. If you get anything from Beachbody, you got to fly yourself out there. you got to pay for your own hotel. you got to pay for the convention. you got to pay for Super Saturday. I mean, on and on and on and on. And yes, when you rise up in the ranks of Beachbody, you do get trinkets. They'll give you jackets and stuff to feel special. But you know, how much energy are you really expending on all of this? My Beachbody income progression. Before Beachbody, I went through the motions of life. Now, every cent I earn, I have earned doing something that brings me joy and fulfills my family's dreams. Okay, because as a coach, you're not just going through the motions. Again, I'm going to just say bologna sandwich, you know, BS. I mean, there is absolutely no way that you are super excited each and every month to kick off a new challenge group and to be there as a cheerleader for people and checking in on them month after month after month. And that is absolutely exhausting. There's no way you are doing that and thinking, wow, this is just, you know, I'm living the best life. I'm living a healthy and fulfilled life. There is absolutely no way you cannot be that excited to constantly build that Jenga tower. Yeah, just can't, you know? I mean, there's just, I, I just, I'm sorry. The way it's being portrayed and all those smiley faces because they are all so super happy in these pictures. It's absolutely exhausting and so stressful. Okay, I think this is kind of ironic that, you know, girlfriend is in a um, stadium. Again, we see the progression and it goes up, but I do have to ask you, at what point do you notice that most people can't reach the rank of Emerald? And if they do get there, they cannot hold on to it, you know? All right, so let's now get into the income disclosure. All right, so I wanted you to see, this is basically the same thing. I think it says the exact same thing at this part. The only thing that has changed are the dates for the income disclosure. So I want you to see, we will be looking at the income disclosure from December 27th, 2018 to December 25th, 2019. Now, just as a quick reminder, in case you are not familiar with the different ranks of Beachbody, you start out, the entry rank is coach. Now, don't get your panties in a twist. People get so freaked out of the word coach. Just put distributor there, okay? Active distributor, active emerald distributor. It doesn't matter. Coach is just a word, okay? So the goal is to go emerald to get two people underneath you, one on each side, one on each leg. I did a video how you can achieve that in one hour. So hopefully I'll remember to put a link to it, throw it up in the cards. Hopefully I'll do something. I don't know. Sometimes I forget and you guys are smart. I'm sure you can find it if for whatever reason, I just don't. Usually when people are progressing in the ranking system of Beachbody, they'll skip Ruby and go straight on to Diamond. And as you can see, you have to first be Emerald. You know, you get those two people on either side, but then you have to have three additional people underneath you. You see, and for them to be Emerald, then they have to have two people underneath them. So in essence, it's like 12 people underneath you. Okay, if you are going to go Star Diamond, that's going to mean that one of the people underneath you also reached that level of diamond, okay? 
and now I'm going to show you what Star Diamond looks like, but I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of it because you might just fall asleep. Okay, I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs of what a Star Diamond is because you can have a one star, you can go up to 15 star. I mean, heck, I don't know, there could be a 200 star. I, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that once you do hit that, you know, Star Diamond status, you have to now have 200 points of personal volume. It goes up, your volume goes up as your rank goes up. So you're paying more to be part of the system, you know? Honestly, I mean, how likely is any of this to happen? Well, you're about to find out because everybody thinks they can get there, but the reality is oh so different. And here we have the income disclosure from December 27th, 2018 to December 25th, 2019. And I did some math and I made the assumption that there are 400,000 coaches in the Beach Body Coach Network. I mean, you know, we got to start somewhere, right? Once upon a time, back in, I want to say 2017, you could go into the Coach Online office and you could see how many people were in the network because it'd be congratulating the, the new people that joined and all of that. But then they stopped doing that. And honestly, I think it's because of the mass exodus of 2017. You know, they don't want to show like, you know, when people start leaving because that's going to make everybody freak out. Because I know back in 2017, when I saw those numbers go down, I was like, holy smoke, what's going on here? I mean, do I need to get out? I mean, I actually questioned it at that time. I didn't leave, but it's like, should I get out? But what I do want to point out to you right here is that over 57% of the people within the coach network had absolutely no income. The numbers that you see over on the left hand side, what I did again is I assumed that there's that 400,000 people who are in the network. So for there to be a coach, that is the entry rank, remember that? 77.3% of the coach network is at that rank. That's over 300,000 people. You can see that number there on the far left. Then that first rank is Emerald. 73,200 people would be at that rank because it is 18.3 of the coach network. The next rank that I'm gonna call out is Diamond because we're just skipping over Ruby because like I said, if anybody ranks up, they're able to get to Diamond. So I just didn't do the math on that. So 2.3 of all the coaches in the network, 2.3% of that 400,000 is 9,200. And then to be Star Diamond, that is 1.2% of the entire coach network, which calculates to 4,800 people within the coach network are able to be at least a one star diamond, have one person underneath them be a diamond coach. You got that? Okay, now let's look at what it was before. Okie dokie, this is from 2017 to 2018. And again, I made the assumption that there's 400,000 people within the coach network. And I calculated out on the side how many people would have to be in each of those ranks, okay? Okie dokie, so this is from the um, income disclosure statement before the most recent one, the one from the 2017 to 2018. I'm also assuming that there were 400,000 coaches within the network, okay? So at that time, there were 74.3% of the people within the coach network that were at that entry rank of coach, which would have been just a little under 300,000, which that's called out over there on the left-hand side. Now, going up to the Emerald coach, which is 20.6% of the coach network, that would be 82,400 people. To be a diamond, with that being 2.8% of the coach network, that's 11,199 people who are able to make it to the diamond rank. And then to be a star diamond, it's about 6,000 people, which is 1.5% of the coach network. And 56.51% received absolutely no income at all from the quote, Beachbody opportunity. And now we're going to compare the two time periods so that I can break that down for you a little bit more. 
Okay, I did a video and I showed you how you can hit Emerald in an hour. I think I already said that. And in it, Ken, that's just what I'm calling him, said that 99% of the people out there are not coaches, implying that there's a vast group of people that you can recruit from. You know, the numbers we don't have are all those people that previously joined Beachbody and then left because either they saw the light or they went to a different MLM. Basically, they're not in the coach network anymore. My point is that this number of 99% is very skewed because it does not account for the thousands upon thousands of people that have already joined and are no longer part of Beachbody. And if you approach them, they're probably going to say, um, yeah, no. I don't think they're going to say yes. I don't think they're going to race back. You know what I mean? So um, I will say, yes, it's possible for somebody to come back. I think one of my subs mentioned in a comment that she joined Beachbody three different times. And each time she basically had no results. And she could not like, you know, I think she hit Emerald, but she couldn't hold it. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But anyway, basically, you're given the hope to build that Jenga tower. And as you can see, when we compare it from side to side, that... People are at these ranks now for a longer period of time. And it looks like when I see this, it's taking longer to get to that level. You know, I mean, imagine holding on to it. Just keep on keeping believing that you're going to actually get to the top. And we're going to peel back that banana so you can see why that's probably improbable. Alrighty, again, I'm assuming that there are 400,000 coaches within the network. And I already went over those numbers, but I want you to see a comparison right here. You see that, you know what? You're not getting more emeralds, you're getting less. The rubies that they're holding, the diamond coaches, you're getting less now than what you did before. Same thing with star diamond. There's more people who are just at the coach rank, you know? I mean, really? Wow, wow. To me, this is a huge indication that it's harder to achieve any of these ranks, let alone hold them. You know, what do you think? Because I just look at this and go, whew, I'm glad I got out. Okay, now what I did here is I compared the income because what Beachbody provides is they'll go low, like average and high. Now they don't tell you how they come up with these figures. You don't get the mode and the median. You only get like, you know, the average, which, you know, that can get skewed depending on, you know, somebody making a ton of money versus somebody making no money. I mean, these numbers are, uh, they're, they're just not all that solid to me, if you will. But when we look at it overall, you can see it's not like people are just going up and up and up making total bank. In fact, when you look at the Emerald Coach last year in 2019, the 2018 to 2019, um, the high end was less than the low end. Now, when we look at Ruby, it's higher. When we look at diamond, it's like right there at the same, which I find that a bit odd. Maybe I, maybe I didn't put the right numbers in there. I mean, I could have screwed that up when I was like trying to move stuff over. That's possible. So if I did, I apologize. And I'm sure you're smart. You can figure out and run the numbers yourself and let me know if I totally screwed it up. Anywho, then we're moving on up to, you know, diamond and star diamond. There was a drop. It wasn't a dramatic drop, but there was a drop. And when you look at just coach, meaning you have not even been able to get up to Emerald, I mean, they are making a little bit more, but is it worth it? What are you putting into it in order for what you get out of it? And go back to most people are making no income. It's well over 50% for both years that we're looking at. What are your thoughts on this? How has coaching changed my life? October 2014 to October 2015. And as you can see, look, her bonus increased. That bonus is going to relate to the team cycle bonus, which I've explained that 
before and I'll just say right now it's basically you have to have 300 points personal volume points based on your purchases and your downline purchases once you cycle once if you are at an emerald you will earn $14 if you are at diamond you'll earn 18 and you can cycle a certain number of times each week depending on where you fall in the ranking system and I'm not going to break all that down because he'll probably fall asleep and there's also quarterly bonuses so she's really making it look like look how much my life has changed and here is another example still there are so many unknown variables this is the type of progression it shoved down your throat but again no one's looking at the income disclosure statement if they looked at it I mean I swear I swear because I know I would have done this I would have seen myself like I would defy the odds I'm going to make it to the top even though I'm looking at the facts I'm looking at like the likelihood is very slim and next to none but I think you know what I can do it and I really do see that as you are in this longer you lose yourself more without realizing it it's like the multi-level marketing personality takes over more and more and more the longer you're in and the longer you're in the longer you are just like losing more of your true self and so when you get out you've got to rebuild yourself just like that Jenga tower another income progression from July 2018 to July 2019 Ooh, okay I'm just you know it's just more of the same someone looking happy and it's just the fake smile ever slapped on their faces I mean I know all my smiles was so fake because I was just building up like look how great my life is now that I'm with Beachbody oh and it just wasn't true but you gotta you know gotta fake it to make it fake it to make it you just gotta put it out there income progression real life our financial journey with Beachbody before Beachbody lit paycheck to paycheck worked 40 hours going more into debt committed to helping others feel comfortable in their own skin and helping them build a life of freedom with Beachbody coaching as the vehicle oh I, I think I just I think I threw up a little bit in my own mouth you know I really oh my gosh okay month one Shakeology plus next fitness program month four Shakeology plus car payment plus groceries month nine Shakeology plus mortgage plus all bills plus two thousand dollars debt paid left my job month 12 Shakeology plus all bills plus three credit cards paid in full month 15 Shakeology plus all bills plus eight thousand dollars debt paid off plus vacation in cash oh yeah there's just no stress with all of that is there it's just residual income and it just comes so easy I mean the only way let's face it guys the only way to have freedom is through multi-level marketing because you are certainly not busting your hump to get that team cycle bonus or that quarterly bonus or to replace people who keep leaving nope that's not happening not at all nope nope don't look here nope 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 squirrel squirrel let me let me throw another squirrel out there so you don't see what's really going on okay my friend I gotta ask you so did this income progression did that impress you are you thinking wow you know what I can really see me doing that I can see me making that leap maybe this is worth it is that you or are you thinking oh that's a stretch I don't think so I mean let me know in the comments what are you thinking about that how about the latest income disclosure statement and how it compares to the one before it that progression what are your thoughts about it and I'm kind of wondering I don't know if I can find you know all of the income disclosure statements from the years Beachbody has been around with in terms of the MLM side or not but I'm kind of wondering how much has it changed over the years you know if you know let me know in the comments and what do you think of the comparison I mean what does that say to you to me it says it's getting harder it certainly isn't getting easier and the thing is Beachbody is in the US Canada the UK and has recently gone into France so you know what there's more countries there's more people where you can like promote this to the opportunity so you would think that more people would be able to rise up but we're seeing that's not the case why do you think that's so 
what do you think's going on? Let me know in the comments. I really want to say thank you so very much for spending time with me. And if you have had an experience with a multi-level marketing company, be it Beachbody or otherwise, I encourage you to report that to the FTC. I made a video on how you can do that. Also, Americans Against MLM, there's always a link to some resources they provide within my video description. So you can go there and they'll walk you through on what to do because I really feel like we need to share our experiences. The only way that we can have an impact and make a change is by speaking out, not being quiet little mice and just slinking away off into the corner. We got to stand up and say something. That's why I create videos and, you know, tell different stories and shed light on something that I find to be very harmful and destructive to other consumers. And change starts now. Mm -hmm.